Deep in the mountains, a loud roar reverberated through the trees, imbuing the forest with an atmosphere of fear. It was a cry of desperation. Ben, an experienced climber frequently involved in rescuing lost hikers, heard the sound. His heart raced as he pursued the noise, driven not only by duty, but also by his profound love for all creatures. Upon reaching the source, Ben froze. A mother bear, visibly terrified, was struggling to help her cub climb a steep cliff. The little bear kept slipping and whimpering with each fall. Recognizing the urgency, Ben swiftly grabbed his phone and called for help, his voice trembling as he communicated with the rescue center. Soon, a helicopter buzzed through the sky, its blades cutting through the cool mountain air. But the noise scared the mama bear. She paced back and forth on the cliff edge, clearly panicking. The cub, eyes wide with fear, kept trying to climb but couldn't get anywhere. The helicopter made things worse. The wind from the blades blew hard against the cliff, scaring the mama bear even more. She growled at the strange noise, pacing anxiously. Ben watched from below, his heart pounding, with the cub fall. He looked down at the rushing river below, filled with sharp rocks. If the cub fell, it wouldn't survive. Time was running out. The helicopter landed on a small rocky ledge a safe distance from the mama bear and her cub. The rescue man, Mike, stepped out. He knew getting the cub from the cliff face where the mama bear guarded wouldn't be easy. The helicopter blades had only made things worse, scaring the mama bear and making the cub lose its grip for a terrifying moment. Landing any closer was a no-go. The mama bear paced back and forth at the peak, growling fiercely. She wasn't happy about these strange, noisy creatures buzzing around her family. If they dared to approach, she'd charge, ready to defend her cub. Ben and Mike huddled together, their faces grim. The usual rescue plan of lowering someone down from the helicopter wouldn't work. They needed a new strategy, a way to reach the cub without getting mauled by its protective mother. Their hearts pounded as they looked up at the frightened cub, clinging desperately to the cliff. Ben, known for his bright ideas, came up with a plan. We can't reach the cub, he said, but maybe we can lure the mama bear away. He remembered seeing a patch of delicious berries during his climb. Hope flickered in Mike's eyes. They carefully gathered a bunch of the juicy berries. With a deep breath, Ben threw them with all his might in the opposite direction of the cub. It was a risky move, but it might just work. They held their breath as the berries tumbled through the air, landing with a soft plop a good distance from the cub. The mama bear's ears perked up and her nose twitched. For a brief moment, her fierce gaze flickered from her cub to the tempting treat. The mama bear took a tentative step towards the berries, then another. Her eyes darted back and forth between the food and her cub. Ben and Mike watched with pounding hearts. Would the mama bear's hunger win out over her protectiveness? Just as it seemed she might take the bait, a loud crack echoed through the mountains. A loose rock, dislodged by the mama bear's movement, tumbled down the cliff face. It bounced harmlessly away, but the noise startled the bear. With a snort of anger, she forgot all thoughts of food and spun around, her gaze locking back onto the climbers. Her growl rumbled through the air, a clear warning to stay away. Instead of the berries, the mama bear charged back to the cub, her protective instincts stronger than ever. Defeat washed over Ben and Mike. Their risky plan had backfired. Not only did they not get any closer to the cub, but they seemed to have angered the mama bear even more. They had to get out of there fast. Hearts pounding, they turned and ran, somehow managing to escape the angry mama bear. They were safe, but the cub was still in danger. A heavy feeling of failure settled in. Ben and Mike had dodged a bullet, but felt a mix of relief and respect for the mama bear's fierce love. During the rescue, they had spotted unsettling signs hidden in the forest. Something bad felt close by. Determined to keep the animals safe, they decided to investigate further. Pushing through thick bushes and climbing rocky paths, they stumbled upon a creepy sight. An old abandoned ranger cabin stood hidden in the trees. Curiosity tugged at them, and with a cautious approach, they peeked inside. Their blood ran cold. The cabin was a treasure trove of horrors. Poaching equipment lay scattered about, cruel traps, snares, and a large powerful rifle. Most disturbing were the piles of animal skins, claws, and teeth lining the walls. The sickening truth dawned on them. Poachers were secretly killing animals and selling their body parts. Disgust and anger bubbled within them. They knew they had to act fast. The police needed to be informed, but the cub was in immediate danger. He clung precariously to the cliff face, his tiny claws straining against the smooth rock. 
Mike, a trained rescuer, spotted a glimmer of hope in a most unexpected place. Tucked away in a dusty corner of the abandoned ranger cabin, he saw a tranquilizer gun. He remembered his training on using these for animal rescues. This could be their chance. Without wasting a moment, they crept closer to the cub's location. The mama bear stood guard below, still growling fiercely. From behind the thick trunk of a nearby tree, Ben took careful aim with the tranquilizer gun. With a silent prayer, he fired a single dart. The dart struck true, embedding itself in the mama bear's shoulder. Within minutes, the powerful tranquilizer took effect, and the mama bear slowly slumped to the ground, unconscious. Now was their golden opportunity. Using a long rope with a sturdy hook attached, they carefully reached out and secured the struggling cub. Relief flooded them as they gently pulled the cub to safety. Holding the cub close, the enormity of their situation hit them. They had saved two lives, the cub and its unconscious mother. Ben and Mike felt elated as they held the scared cub. He whimpered a little but calmed down as they gently petted him. The mama bear was still out cold, so they carefully took out a granola bar they kept for emergencies. They broke off a tiny piece and offered it to the cub. The cub sniffed the food carefully, then licked it once. His eyes got big and he made a little happy sound. He ate the whole piece and looked for more. Ben and Mike chuckled, glad the little guy was enjoying his safe meal. While the cub munched, the mama bear stirred. Her eyes opened slowly, confused. The medicine was wearing off and she was waking up. The first thing she smelled was her cub, but also a sweet smell she didn't know. Feeling wobbly, she tried to stand up but then froze. There, just a few feet away, were two strangers petting her cub. The mama bear's heart thumped like a drum. These were the same ones who scared her before. They were dangerous. With a deep growl, the mama bear stood tall. The sound made Ben and Mike turn around fast. They saw the angry mama bear charging at them. Jumping up, they didn't waste a second. Run, Ben yelled, and they bolted like scared rabbits. They didn't dare look back, just focused on getting away from the furious mama bear. After what felt like forever, they stopped, panting hard with tired smiles. They watched the mama bear and cub enjoy the unexpected food. It made them happy. Together, they devised a surprise raid on the cabin, determined to bring the criminals to justice and free the animals. The raid was a resounding success. The poachers were caught off guard and swiftly arrested, their cruel operation permanently shut down. The most gratifying part was that all the captive animals, birds, rabbits, and even a small fox, were set free. They scurried back into the forest, finally returning to their natural homes. Ben and Mike knew their mission wasn't over. They joined forces with the local wildlife group to clean up the mess left by the poachers. Together, they formulated a plan to monitor and prevent illegal hunting in the future. During this time, the mama bear and her cub became local heroes. Their story spread like wildfire, a tale of love and bravery against cruelty. It inspired the villagers to take better care of the wild animals around them, and they pledged to report any suspicious activity they might observe. What an incredible story! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. See you in the next video.